Hello, this is Sodapop Dude 4 and today I'm going to teach you how to make a basic uh Warcraft 3 map using the Warcraft 3 world editor. So first things first, we're gonna open up the map. <laughs> now this map is going to consist of four char uh well two to four character or two to eight characters. <coughs> whichever one you choose, uh any map size and uh some extra gold mines, a uh uh, some good terrain, uh, uh, trees, uh, and just like creep, I guess. So, first we're just going to hit control N, uh, choose your map size, I'm going to choose 96 by 96, uh, one square is typically one tree, and so now we're going to, uh, uh, Okay, so now we're going to choose the tile set, which these are like different types of uh, tiles. I'm just going to go with the outland one. And then, uh, or, I'm going to go with winter. And then you can set your initial water level, which I'm just going to keep none. And now let's just press OK. So now it's going to take a couple seconds to create the map. Okay, uh, as you can see, the tiles set sort of changes just a little bit, unless you kept it at the same kind of tile set. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need gold mines. So here, first I'm going to go up into the corner where my first player is going to be. Now I'm going to press units, player one, melee, uh, buildings, wait, sorry, excuse me, units, neutral passive, melee, Buildings, gold mine. So now I'm just going to slam one down right there. Uh, I'm not really going to be too precise on where they are because I'm just doing this quick tutorial. Okay, so now that we have our gold mines down, uh, let's go to scenario, player options, and we need to set up the players. So this is going to be uh, user. This uh, then we're just going to set up uh, set up our four, uh, three more players. So it's going to be a four-player map. I'm going to send them to computer. Now I'm going to do selectable, selectable, selectable. Oops, miss selectable. Okay. So now I'm just going to press OK. Give it a couple of seconds. Okay, so now we're going to need uh, need to build the place where the actual town halls will go. So I'm going to set one like right about there, I guess. So I'm going to go to player one, melee, buildings, start location, and I'll just click right there. Or well, no, maybe a little bit closer, right about there. Okay, now I'm going to go to player two, melee, buildings, start location. Uh, where's that gold mine? There we go. So I'm just going to set it right to right about there. Uh, remember, you can't have it too close or else the map won't work. Wait. Oops, sorry, forgot to change. Okay, so now I'm going to go to player 3. Come up here. Melee, building, start location. So, now that we have all that, it's tree time. So, I'm going to go to scenario, uh, player, wait, <laughs> sorry, not player properties, uh, ha, you shouldn't even be in scenario, layer, doodads. Okay, so now there should be this tool palette with the doodad. Uh, so, you can choose uh, these different kinds of trees and stuff. Wait, I should probably quickly go over terrain first. Uh, right uh, here at the terrain dot options, you can... Uh, like adding cliffs. Uh, I think this is small water. Wait, no, this is small water. Or, er, well, no, this is. Well, you get the point. Like, there's that. And then 
you can like click right there, uh, and you can go right here, change the ground texture. And right over here, you, you can add in this stuff, which will basically change it. Uh, you can smooth out. Uh, you can apply small hills, dips, and yeah, uh, you can change the size of it, make a bigger dip. You know, basic stuff. Okay, so now we're going to go up to the doodad palette. Uh, press some, press on a tree. Uh, and now, uh, just to make it go really quickly, I'm just going to click on five, and then. And then it's always good to have it uh, on a circle shape. That way, it doesn't seem like you're trying to make it like into a square form. Uh, you should probably put some on the outside. That way, you don't see a black wall like right there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you get the point. So here. Uh, while I do that, uh, I'm gonna really qu quickly pause the camera, that way you don't have to really see me doing all these trees and it'll save time. Okay, so now that I've added in some trees, uh, here I'm gonna go back and add in, like, two more gold mines. I'm not really gonna put any trees or stuff around them, just cause. Uh. I'll just put one over here. Okay, so now we're going, uh, we should probably put in some enemies around it, so, uh, I'm just going to go to Outland, just because I like some of the people in there, uh, oh wait, I need, wait, it's neutral, hostile, or I'll just go to, So, now I'm just going to add in some people around the mines. Uh, you know, just so you can do creeping. And then I'm just going to come over here to the center. Uh, I'm going to add in uh, some trolls. And let's put right next to there a uh, neutral passive melee units. Wait no buildings, and then I'm just going to add in a fountain of health. And yeah, so basically there you have your basic map. Uh, here we're going to real quickly go over to scenario map preferences. Uh, just press description, give it a name. Uh, YouTube map. So just the player. So I'm going to do two v two. Small, free, or well. Okay, I'm just gonna put down two v two. Description: the author, so the pot three four. Description: the. Okay. Now I'm gonna press file, same map as. Awesome. Map, and. There you go. And now you have your very first uh, Warcraft 3 map.